Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell somewhere over there. Get all the updates. <laughs> Bruno wanted to join me. Uh, really excited for today's beer. Uh, it is a Sloop beer, and I've reviewed a decent number of their beers, probably five to eight, I think. Um, and this is one I've wanted to try for a while. Uh, wow, try for a while. Um, just because of the can art. I mean, I shouldn't say just because of the can art. But the first thing I ever noticed was the social media post was like, that's sick. Uh, Sloop Jam Boom Shakalaka. Uh, you know, old school graphics for NBA Jam. But like, a label is only so much, right? You know, but uh, it sounds delicious. It's 6% ABV. It's a tart fruit beer with blueberries, blackberries, and lactose. I love those berries. I like tart things that are sweet or like balanced out with like some fruit and some sweetness perhaps um i was gonna actually do a different beer but sean from nerd sent sent a message that he had been playing nba jam earlier today so i'm like wow that's a sign that i need to open this beer up bruno's joining me because for the first time since march is currently the middle of june um <laughs> we left him alone while he ran some errands. So it's the first time in three months that he has been home alone. And I think he's like, hey, wait, you guys don't leave the house. What's going on? Or only one of you ever leaves the house at a time. So he's been up my butt quite a bit since we've gotten back. Right, am I talking about you? Am I picking on you a little bit? All right, yeah, that looks like a beer that has blackberries and blueberries in it. Uh, beautiful purple color, depending on you know what part of the glass you're looking at, the intensity. Of that purple, how dark or light. Mixed in with some like blood red on the sides down here. But yeah, uh, as you can see, not much of a head at this point. Kind of a dark pink. But yeah, the, the head at this point is just barely above the surface uh, of the liquid. So I went away quickly. Let's get to the aroma. First thing I get is a tartness. Like without a doubt, this is a tart smelling beer. Without being like, whoa kind of a thing okay so like it's definitely there but not off-putting you do get a, a fruit juice um it actually reminds me more of a dark grape juice maybe that's my mind playing tricks on me because of the color <clears throat> excuse me but in terms of like what i'm getting the aroma it's, it, yeah, it's like red grape juice. Ah, there's some blackberries. I, I wouldn't say specifically get blueberry, but I do get like that blackberry aroma. A little bit of a, a biscuity quality from the malt, which I like in this style. And again, just it, it's it's tart without being over like like overload of the tartness. That's the big thing. There is that fruitiness or some of that biscuity thing. Smells like I thought it would, uh, uh, except maybe swap out the grape juice for the blueberry. Cheers. Except for the grape thing I talked about, and the blueberry thing I talked about, this tastes like the aroma. Wow. Um, for me, great balance of tartness and the fruit. It's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not puckering. It's, yeah, it's just like the aroma where I'm like, yeah, it's there. It's the first thing you get, but it's not off-putting. It's not overwhelming. Um, Wow, yeah, I like that. And the blueberry definitely comes through in the taste. Um, that blackberry as well, wow. You get a little bit of that biscuity thing. That's a little bit more muted than, than the aroma let on. Based on the aroma, I thought I was gonna get a little bit more of that biscuit. That's fine, I still get it a little bit. That like doughy thing. And now as I'm talking, it's Hmm, this is interesting. It almost tastes, or the aftertaste is almost like as if I had eaten um, 
like a not particularly sweet scone that had blackberries in it. Um, so because not particularly sweet, you're getting that, that doughy element, you're getting some of that tartness from the blackberry. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool aftertaste. Yeah, to get that from a beer. Um, yeah, very, very doughy. Which again, I think for some people is off-putting, but I like that in this style. It's something I look forward to. Um, I think part of what's cutting through that tartness is the lactose. I don't get a big vanilla thing or anything like that from the lactose, so I think it's just adding that sweetness to help balance out the tart and whatever the fruit is bringing in terms of tartness or sweetness. Um, making this very drinkable. For 6%, if I was doing this blind, I probably would have guessed more like 45 or 5%, so it drinks a little lower ABV-wise, but a lot of flavor uh, without being overwhelming with any of those things. And you know what, just to give me a little bit of, not to give me, but like, it does kind of give me a little bit of credit with the aroma. I do get a little bit of red wine taste into it. And like, sometimes when you drink a red wine, you might, you know, describe it as it, it's, um, you know, has notes of blackberry or something, right? Even though it's a grape wine. I think a little bit of that's happening here in reverse or just, you know, making my mind think, oh yeah, you, it's like you've tasted blackberries and red wine before. So, so I will say there's a little bit of a red wine taste as well without the alcohol taste for sure. Yeah, this is really good. I, I'm, I'm glad I got a can. I um, almost wish I grabbed maybe a four pack because at 6%, wouldn't mind drinking one of these outside when I'm grilling or, you know, things like that on a hot day. But yeah, good beer. You know, I, I love Sloop's uh, Juicy Beers. So it is cool to do a different style from them and uh, have it land. So yeah, good job, Sloop. Thank you guys for I'm sorry, good job to you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate that as always. Check out my Instagram on taps. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.